Hello everyone. Today we're going to try looking at how you can adapt a Close to My Heart Craft with Heart kit really easily. So this is a kit that has come from the, um, for the December 2021 um, set and it has got a couple of really lovely Christmas layouts in it. As you can see I am just pulling apart all the bits and pieces that come in the kit. There are some die cuts that you punch out, there are some stickers, there's some background pieces of paper and there is also um, some really nice little embellishments and photo maps. So I'm going to take this lovely layout but I'm going to adapt it for my own purposes. So the first thing I do is I actually cut out um, the central circle patterned piece and then I also decide I want to keep that lovely green stripe at the bottom. So instead of just cutting it flat I've grabbed a couple of tools just to make it a nice torn look and I'm now going to work with a sing simple piece of white daisy cardstock in the background. So all these little circles make a really fun decorative Christmas look when we, as you'll see later, as I turn them into little decorations. Now I've got quite a few photos to go on this page. The sample showed just the one photo on this side of the layout, but I wanted to put all of these photos of my daughter when she was, oh, I think she must have been near the end of being about two, um, when we had our Christmas up in Auckland. And I just thought it would be lovely for her album to have just a little memory of that time recorded. So what I have decided to do with a couple of the photos is to put one into a flip flap. And that's one of our little memory protectors that are mini sized and they sit on top of your main um, protector and they add, mean that you can add extra photos on top of each other. To make my background piece of white daisy cardstock a little bit more interesting, I've now gone and pulled out one of our stencil sheets. We have a few different designs pre-cut in our main catalogue that come as little sets of three. And this one has got some really cool starbursts. Um, it's also got some other neat um, circle patterns and a sort of mosaic window in the same set. It's called Stencil Pack 2. Now I have taken some gloss, um, the transparent gloss um, texture paste, and I am using one of our tools to just... It, um, wipe through the texture paste through the stencil and it's just going to give a really clear but glossy starry look on the background of this piece of cardstock. Um, white daisy cardstock can be a little bit tad boring at times and so that is just one way to bring a little bit of an interesting textured element to the, the layout itself. So now you can see I'm actually going to mat all of these photos and now I use the little photo, white photo mats that come inside these kits as a little thin border and then I mat them with the uh, provided green photo mats. So that's a couple of my photos done and um, I've put them with the green, the red and the lighter green as well. So by double matting them with that little bit of white, it helps those photos to stand out much more. So now I'm just going to add my little torn strip at the bottom, leaving room to tuck my photos in behind. And I'm going to arrange all those circles so that they're going to work as well as fitting on my extra photos. I do play around with this for a little bit just to get it right um, and just to get a feel for how I can actually um, capture all four of those photos on the one page. Now this little idea that I'm using now with the um, red corner piece, that was a piece that was used over the one photo on this page. Um, so I've used that concept but adapted it for the orientation of the photo that I had. I'm now going to turn those gorgeous little circles into decorations with the little hook on the top. Um, as you can see. So I'm just trying to find where I can put my stickers so that I, before I adhere everything down. So although this kit came with one purpose in mind, I have gone and cut everything out and then used it like a blank canvas and started again. The end result does have a flavour of the original layout, but it has been adapted so that I can fit my photos on and tell the story that I want to tell. And all of our Craft With Heart layout kits are easily adapted just like this. So this is really fun putting the last bits of this page together. So I'm just using, um, actually going to overlap that large circle off the page. It's going to be trimmed in a little bit um, just to be able to fit everything onto the one side. And then I'm also going to add a few little extra stickers um, for the title. So in the kit, it comes with these lovely stickers saying, let's be merry, which works very well with my Christmas photos. So I'm going to stick to that um, title as well. 
So I'm just popping them on. I usually put uh, titles on from one side to the other so that I get a nice even flow and um, spacing between my letters just to make it work nicely. And now I'm just going to chop off that little piece that's overhanging. I actually quite like circles that go off the page. It feels then like it's kind of continuing on, which works really nicely. So the photos are positioning themselves just fine. I'm now going to add in some of the stickers and I do raise a lot of the stickers with some foam tape just so that you've got that little bit of a shadow showing and it allows me also to tuck bits and pieces in behind which is really useful. So I'm just adding on these little end bits of decoration and then you're going to see I'm going to pull out a die cut set. Now I absolutely love this die cut set called Layered Flowers. Um, it's in our main catalogue and it's just got all these different shapes and sizes of leaves and flowers that we can put together cutting out from cardstock or patterned paper and creating really lovely layered effects. So I've pre-cut a whole heap of flowers and leaves out of the similar greens that I already had on the layout and bringing in a bit of the reds and the peaches just so that they you're sort of keeping those colors going. So I'm just layering up these flowers and sticking the bits and pieces together first off and then I'm going to look at a way of clustering them onto the layout. Now this layout is a lot busier than many that I do, but I really like the effect of the flowers. Um, I always think of red flowers actually at Christmas, yeah, the poinsettias obviously give you that impression. So, and, of, and we have our Pahutakawa tree, so you know red really works really lovely for our Christmases. So here I am layering up many of those leaves and those flowers. Probably that leaf that's uh, the leaf that's got the cluster of four little leaves on it is my absolute favourite, and I tend to fold them a little bit to give a bit of dimension. You'll see that in the darker leaves already down the base. How I have done a little bit of scoring with my fingernail in the centre, and I've made them stand out a little bit for a bit of dimension. On the sticker sheet, there were also all these little sprigs, so I'm bringing those in as well, dotting them around my little clusters. And then I'm going to finish off with some of the bows that were left there with the stickers, the sticker sheet and die cuts as well. So it's a really fun layout being put together um, based on a um, probably two pages worth of embellishments almost all going on to the one page. You're going to see in a little bit once I've got all these clusters complete how I use what's left over and I create a non-Christmas layout for the, the right hand side. So I'm going to show you that shortly once I've got all of these flower clusters sorted. Another thing you'll notice on this page with these clusters, I tend to end up with two large clusters that balance each other out with that lovely red bow up on the top right hand corner. But I do add a couple of bit more around that bottom right um, decoration too, just to keep it all flowing and looking coherent. Normally I do look to try and do clusters in sets of three because it does seem to be the most appealing to the eye, um, but these florals do lend themselves to sort of um, matching up to the bows and so it does add that sort of clustering effect there as well. So there's the original on the left hand side and that's what I came up with. I did also see there was a lovely little tag that I could use on my flip flap. Um, I ended up putting it on the photo behind, but it just shows, gives you the effect to know that there's something to look at behind that photo. And of course, I finish off with a little touch of journaling. Always good to tell the story as soon as you can so that you don't forget some of the details. Um, and it does allow those memories to be retained for a lot longer. So once this layout, this side is done, you'll now see what I'm going to do with the right hand side. So instead of sticking to the Christmas theme, I'm going to bring in some photos of um, Olivia again, but when she was about two and we went to a beautiful waterfall near Raglan. Um, this is the Bridal Vale Falls actually, if anyone's been over that direction, they always look lovely. This was in summertime, so the falls are a little bit less spectacular, but they still are rather gorgeous. And she was a bit of a cutie with her flowers standing there in front of the waterfall, so it's just a lovely use of these photos. Um, now what I am doing is instead of just using all the little embellishments as they come in the kit, I'm pulling out a few stamp sets just to give a bit of extra um, personalization. So I have pulled out a nice little saying called you're sweet, you're very sweet. And then I've also pulled out the, um, I'm just trying to think what the stamps it's called, the Cassidy alphabet. It's a lovely, very small font. 
which means that I can get quite a few letters on to a small um, embellishment title. So this is kind of like a little subtitle to the layouts. So I'm putting Bridal Veil here for the Bridal Veil Fools. It's quite a sweet little font, this one, and you do get quite a few letters all together. And it looks almost like it's been handwritten, but a bit funky. So I do quite like it. So that's how I sometimes grab some of these embellishments and personalise them, is to bring in a few stamp sets as well. So here we go. I'm going to get three photos on this page. The original did have three photos on it, but of course I've now got many less embellishment circles and bows because I've used most of them on the left hand side. To balance the double page effect, I'm now going to bring in some of those flowers, the layered flowers and the gorgeous leaves. And I'm also going to bring in some journaling strips just because this is a different story. It's a different day, different event. Um, and so I just want to make sure that that story is told as well. So I have gone for the same design elements in the background piece. I used a white daisy sheet of cardstock. I did some texture paste work again with that star stencil. And I have done some tearing along the bottom with the second piece. So it's always a good idea to look at what you get in a kit. See how you can manipulate it, cut it up, spread it out. And maybe you will find a completely different theme and look with the kit than what was originally intended that actually works best for your layouts. Um, I'm still trying to gather in a few of those little clustered pieces. Um, I end up putting in a few more of those little tiny berries on the end of that sprig. And then I think the final thing I do here is bring in some journaling strips. So I'm just going to finish off to, uh, telling the story. You'll see the end result in a minute of all the um, the little manipulations I have done. Now I do recommend you look at the Craft with Hard subscriptions, whether you're a seasoned scrapbooker, a brand new scrapbooker, or somebody that just wants to get some, some pages done quickly, because they really are a great canvas to start off with. I hope you enjoyed looking at the way that I manipulated this layout to work for me, and I do look forward to seeing what you create with some of your Craft with Heart subscription layouts.